In today's video, I'll have a closer look at a baitcaster that is super budget friendly. Actually, at the time of this review, the thing costs under 25 Great Britain pounds or well under 30 US dollars. And the reel itself, it's called Caesar Cast X Sad. So, yeah, let's find out what you are getting for this kind of a money. First things first, before going any further, I have to mention this video is not sponsored at all since Cecil or someone else did not pay me to put together this video. I got this reel actually from a friend who purchased it and offered me to review it. Uh, so yeah, that's out of the way and let's go ahead with the review itself. I guess before talking about the reel itself, I will show you the box the reel comes in. And really simple deal as you would get from Daiwa, Shimano and plenty of others, just paper box. It has some info on it. Not a lot, but yeah, that's the box. Okay, so the reel itself, right? When it comes to the colors and just looks of the reel, really there are only three colors as far as I can see. So this dark gray, orange elements on the spool pins and on the spool adjuster knob or wheel and black handle, black knobs, first plate is black too, spool is black, so yeah, looks okay, nothing to complain about, mute it down, I like it, and yeah, since it's so really cheap and budget real, let's just have a look at all the bubbles first because for this kind of amount of money you would not expect you know anything good really so yeah let's have a look at moving parts first so spool releaser lever knob call it as you like so it has a little bit of movement here but it's not moving when you are shaking the reel so on the cast it should be fine and at this position the same amount of movement and it's not shaking it's not shaking when when the reel is moved so it should not feel wobbly and you will see that it has some like rubber little pad here it's kind of nice anyway let's go back on to the movements let's check the knobs now so There is a little bit of movement. It's not excessive. I would say it needs maybe one washer. I would say the amount of bubble or loose way on the snob is on par with what you would get on most Divas or Shimano's. And on this knob, this knob has a little bit more actually. Hope you can see it. This knob might need two washers. Okay, now let's have a look at main gears and all the assembly, how tight that one is. Okay, now I will look for in and out movement when I'm kind of trying to pull in and out the handle itself. No, it's solid actually, it does not move at all. And now I will look for the rotational kind of bubble. So I'll grab onto the spool and we'll try to, let's make sure that it's all solid and let's see. Actually guys, it's solid here. So gears are nice and tight for sure. So if you will be getting the thrill or at least my copy only needs washers for the knobs. Yeah, all looks good. Now let's look for those clicking parts and how all the adjusters do feel like, do sound like and so on. Okay, first of all, Dragstar, it does click.
nice, positive, and kind of it feels good actually. I don't have anything bad to say about it. it. Feels good. And now, surprise, surprise! For this price, you are getting a draglica. So basically, just a couple of years ago, uh, you used to spend more than twenty-five pounds for draglica alone, and not really good quality. And in here, have a listen for it. It feels very good guys, I have to say. It definitely feels better than like ones that you are getting, let's say, for 15 pounds or so and installing in your reels. It feels way better. It feels nice and smooth and loudness is good too. And also, it kinda, not too sure if you can see it, but it says here that the reel has nine kilos of drag. And I would agree, I mean, it feels definitely kinda powerful the drag that is and the sound and feeling of the drag does not change when it's kind of cranked up on maximum so yeah I like that a lot okay let's move on now uh, spool tension adjuster it clicks nothing fancy but it does click And it seems to do its job as well. And now, break themselves. It does click two. And as you can see, it goes from zero to, I don't know, 20, almost 18. Nice, positive little clicks. So yeah, all in all, so far, except a little bit freeway or wobble in the knobs but other than that it's solid guys now let's have a look at or let's take the weight of the reel itself i believe uh the material the mainframe is made out of is uh, either it's a carbon or some kind of a plastic kind of decent quality plastic because the reel feels kind of solid when i try to to squeeze it down it's not wobbly at all. Okay, let's take the weight of the reel itself. One hundred and ninety grams. Okay, it's not a bad result at all because this reel, if I remember correctly, he has the weight of the spool about fourteen grams, and it will mean that it should be able to cast from about seven grams to I would say maybe. 35 or so actually 13 grams so and also you will notice if i'm not mistaken those are ceramic bearings i'm not a big fan of ceramic bearings because they are loud but here it is you are getting and let's check here yeah it seems that will have that ceramic bearing too again i'm not kind of 100 percent certain if they are really ceramic i would have to take them apart but it looks like they might be ceramic because i did see on aliexpress they are selling the ceramic ball bearings just like these like separately with the orange kind of casing to protect the bearings themselves or balls themselves And yeah, when it comes to the braking system, it's simple static brakes with a few blocks of magnets and you will see that the magnets are actually black. Do not know which angle is best, but yeah, black magnets. <laughs> that is fancy. Okay, let's put it back and let's test how the brakes are working. Okay, let's go on minimum now. It's about eight seconds, I would say. And you did hear, I hope that you did hear that it's a little bit loud. So my suspicions about ceramic bearings 
most likely are correct. Okay, now let's go to maximum breaks. Oof, not even a second. So brakes are very very good on this reel. Definitely you won't have any problems with brakes. I can promise you that. So it can be like very very kind of dependable if you will. So it can go from very little braking power to a lot of braking power. So brakes are very very good on this reel. And when it comes to line roller or line guide it will be one of them fancy ones basically it has that oval shape like egg shape from this side i hope you can see it somewhat and from from this side it has it way bigger but still it has that oval or egg shape so yeah it should lay the line nicely and should allow to have a little bit longer cast too and yeah when it comes to the thighs I would say it's not like the smallest reels, for sure. It's not like a tiny BFS reel, like a Kestrel from Cast King. It's bigger, but it kind of feels that in the hand, it will be just fine. Gears are put together beautifully. No kind of movements or wobbles at all. And yeah, power transmission is okay. As I say, it won't be as good as on like best Divas, that's for sure, or best Shimano's and some kind of Chinese reels but again for this price that's that's very very good guys so yeah bottom line if you need this kind of a reel when it comes to casting rating that is from let's say 7 grams to 35 to 30 maybe this is a good choice especially if you are just starting out and if you are kind of on a tight budget if you do not want to spend a lot i'm pretty certain you will happy you will be happy with this reel and yeah if you will decide to grab one i will leave a link in the description below but that's it thanks for watching and see you in the next one